Hello and welcome back. This is my tutorial series on robots. We have set up a little robot making facility that makes engines, electric engines, flying robot frames and construction and logi bots. We have something to make some chests. Uh, these are just here to fill space currently. Um, and we learnt about wiring up um, the inserters into the robot ports uh, with a circuit condition so that you don't flood the network accidentally with robots. We learnt about the orange and the green areas, so the orange is where the, the bots will pick up and take away things from your um, logistics and trash, and the green is the construction area. We learnt about joining bots together so that the orange areas touch, and the importance of making sure that there aren't single tile or double tile gaps. What we're going to look this is all sort of installation robots. So these are robots as part of the fabric of your factory. What we're going to do this time is look at personal robots. Okay, so we are running around. And because we're in creative mode, we're running out around, a, I don't know if it's double or treble speed, um, but we're in our birthday suit, near enough. Uh, there are a range of upgraded suits we can get. So we could get light armor. That would give us a little bit of resists. Okay, let's see what other armors there are. So, this here is the heavy armor. To get heavy armor, we need military. Okay, so then we can get heavy armor. And that is that. Heavy armor. This has better resists. It takes more to build. You need some copper and steel instead of just some iron plate. Uh, the resistances are much better. And the hit points are better. Okay. What next? So let's have a look. Here is modular armor. So this is behind red and green science. But remember we needed a round of military to unlock the first one. Modular armor. This gives us this. This takes steel and red circuits. Um, unless you're in a multiplayer game. Let's run away because I think I have auto trash for steel. Yeah, don't want that. Don't want the bots to take that away. Uh, oh, this is the other thing. If you cancel a command when bots are in flight, they still try and service it. So the only thing you can do is run out of logi range so they forget. Okay. So, um, I'm going to craft one of these. And because I'm not wearing other armor, it immediately goes in for me to wear. If I was wearing a heavy armor to start with, um, it would have dumped the modular armor into my inventory. Okay, so now that I have this, I can right click on it. And it has this inventory space. This is the equipment grid. This is where I can put extra stuff to upgrade my body. Okay, and is there any extra stuff? No. Well, that's quite sad. All the extra stuff lives under combat, I believe, for reasons I don't understand, but it does. So, as with everything else, to get upgrades, we need science. Let's have a look here. All right. Worker robot speed two, capacity cargo size two, logistics trust slots three, night vision. Let's click on that. Okay, so to get night vision, we have to do portable solar panel. And in fact, portable solar panel is the gatekeeper for all the other personal equipment. Okay, so even if you never intend to use portable solar panels, you still need to unlock the portable solar panel research. And we can't unlock this yet because it relies upon solar panel. So, Solar panel itself relies upon optics. You probably should have got optics already because um, you can't see in the dark, can you, without lights? Okay, so personal solar panels. 
then there are all these things. And um, the things we can do with our current science are belt immunity, night vision, and personal river points, and personal batteries. It's a weird icon. By the power of cheating, that gives us all those research immediately. And we now have some extra items here on the crafting menu. So portable solar panels take solar panels and take red circuits and steel. What tends to happen is that somebody sets up a solar panel making factory and then they pocket craft the solar panels, the portables. I'm just going to magic them by holding down shift and pressing uh, left click. Uh, but you'd normally set up a factory for these. Batteries, similarly, these normally get handcrafted. Um, belt immunity equipment, bit of steel, bit of red circuits. I'm just gonna make one of those. Personal rover port. Let's make a stack of those. You would normally make between one and five. Night vision, one of those. Okay, so this is all good. We've got some equipment here. So then we can right click here and place the equipment into our equipment grid. So let's start off with one rover port. Okay, let's put in a couple of batteries. Night vision. Um, belt immunity. Um, right, and then we're just gonna go crazy with solar panels. So all of the things in here require power to work. Your night vision, it's charged up, but it requires electricity to continue working. Your, this is charging up. If, it, if your um, robot ports are not charged up, then your ro robots can't function properly. Belt immunity again, you need power to make that work. So it's being supplied by these batteries, by these solar panels. Anything you are not consuming gets dumped into the batteries, but the batteries get powered last. So at the moment, all the power from the solar panels is going into charging up the rover port and nothing is going into this batteries indicator. Okay. Uh, other things that we can have as equipment. Okay. So uh, if you do combat, you probably also want shields. Uh, that's the Mark II shields. Shields. And you may want personal lasers, personal laser defense. Um, but the shield is a good one to get as early as possible. Um, it adds a, an energy buffer when you're in combat before it actually goes down to starting to take out armor. Okay, so now that I have personal rover ports, what we can do is let's request in one stack of construction bots. And because construction bots are in the network because they're in this red box. I can have, oh, I'm trashing them. Talked about this before, didn't we? Get rid of that. Okay, so I now have 50 construction bots. Now this is pretty cool. I'm gonna walk outside the construction range here. So we are definitely not in the green zone. Okay, so let's make a planner, deconstruct that rock. My bots now fly out collect the stuff, put it into my inventory. How cool is that? Um, they can, if I have cliff explosives, they can deconstruct, de deconstruct cliffs. And then if I place down machine ghosts and I have the machines in my inventory, my construction bots can go off and build those. You can see I've got a green construction area. That's the area within which my bots can operate. Okay. If I add more personal rover ports, the number of robots that I can fly and the construction range increases, but that consumes more power. So with this little suit, this is about the best you can do. Uh, what was the other stuff in there? Okay, so um, to show you how it works, they're coming in to collect the, the rocks because I've got auto trash set for that. Um, right. Let's 
take the belt immunity item out. Okay, so if I stand on a belt, I travel down the belt. If we put the belt immunity item in, I'm now immune from belt travel. Okay, so this is pretty useful when you're working in uh, very belt heavy bases. It stops you sliding around all over the place. Um, definitely approve. The night vision goggles, here we are. All right, I'm just gonna cheat us into nighttime. Um, surface cheats. Midnight, okay. So it is now midnight, but I can see what's going on and we have no lights. To give you the comparison, let's take that, take out night vision. Okay, that's what we would be without night vision. Oh no, I fell down a hole and died. Um, with night vision. So we can see. There are mods which provide better quality night vision, higher tier night vision, uh, which gives you nearly as good as daytime vision in the dark. Be aware, if you're relying on solar power, um, there is no solar power in the dark, right? So in the dark, if I do things with my bots, please build things, okay? You can see power going down here as the bots need to do jobs and power up. Let's delete those, more work. It's still nighttime. My power is still going down. I'm being really nasty to these bots by telling them to pick things up, which they're then having to place straight back down again. Okay, but you can see the charging is going down. Really unfair. Okay, so we're now out of battery power. And did you see there? I've run out of power to run my night vision goggles now. Do you see little sparks as they come into hover? That is them recharging, and it's them recharging that was using up power. Okay, so in a minute, we'll get to the point where there's no longer any power left in the rover ports. Trying to get to this point so you can actually see. Okay, so this is a ridiculous case. You would, probably wouldn't be nasty to them like this. But if you're putting down lots of belts, for example, you'll reach the point where your robots have done all their jobs. Um, let's craft some more. Oh, these things seem to have infinite recharge. Come on. They're not doing it. I'm determined to get them to do it now. Oh, 
課題。Don't know if it's something to do with creative mode. Normally by now I would have a halo of bots around me, trying to charge, which can't charge. There we are, finally. Finally. Okay, so these are sitting around the outside because they're waiting to charge. There's almost no charge left in my suit because there's no because I'm charging from solar power. And there's no light, so they can't charge. And if they can't charge, they can't get in, so they're left out. And eventually, they get really slow and start drifting around. Um, you can mine them, pick them up out the sky with a right click. Um, off they go, and that helps. Um, you see people just drag clicking. To collect all the bots out of the sky sometimes to try and get around this. Um, but at the end of the day, if you're running on solar power um, and there's no sunlight, there's no power to charge them. So you want to move away from the solar as soon as possible. That took a lot longer to demonstrate than I intended. All right. Um, so there's a whole load of more suits, and the suits get better and better. Um, let's find the next one. Okay, this, power armor. Okay, so I can't get power armor yet because we need this. There we are. Okay, when you've unlocked power armor, you unlock tier two um, utilities. So tier two shields, you get better batteries and you get the portable fusion reactor. This is the baby you want to be using for powering yourself. You also get personal laser defenses and discharge defenses, although I don't think anyone actually uses those anymore. Okay. So, we now have an extra item. Power Armor Mark II, it requires electric engines and blue circuits as well as steel. One of those. There we are. Now notice, we're already wearing an armor, so the new armor goes in here. Let's put that down there. So this is now in our inventory. Let's. If you hold down control and click on things, it takes all that those out. Right, so this armor here has an inventory and it's bigger. Okay, so we could fit more of these in, for example. Okay. So now we have loads of um, rover ports. This means we can now carry, uh, we can build on a 52 by 52 square and um, we can charge up six bots and fly 30. Right, so we could then fill this up You can see where I'm going with this. It's not going to work. So you'll just spend your entire time waiting for the solar panels to charge. Let's head down, down. Right, what can we get? Portable fusion reactor. Okay, so to get this, we have to unlock some pretty late game tech. Low density structures, which we can't do at the moment because to get those we need Oh, advanced material processing. Yep, low density structures. You need all this to launch a rocket, but you know, right. This will give us the next batteries. Um, oh, legs. Legs let us walk faster. Um, and where was I going with this? Um, Portable fusion reactor. This is still red because, oh, we have to unlock the gold science pot. Which is there. The reason being, you need to burn some gold science to get that unlocked. And is that everything? No. All right, let's try again. 
So I want the tier two um, rubber ports and this. Now, what's the prerequisite for this? We do not have military. Okay, so let's unlock. Can't do military because we haven't done military two or walls. Okay. Okay, let's do this again. So we want that one. We want that one. We want that one. That allows us to get this one. So you can see this is well down the tree, but it does mean we can now have these items. I'm going to get some upgraded batteries. The old batteries go in to upgrade into the new batteries. We could put some legs in and I'm going to get some upgraded uh, rover ports. Again, you put in the tier one rover ports, some low density structures, blue circuits, you get out the tier twos. All right. So now let's take these out. We could put in one of these. We can only put in one, right? You can see there's only room for one. Oh, press T, get rid of that flash. All right. So then how do we want to lay this out? We want our belt immunity. We want these. Okay, and you can see it's pretty hard to find ways to pack this to make it useful. Um, you can't rotate batteries, unfortunately. I wish you could, then you could pack up these spaces with batteries. The legs take a two by two block, so it's pretty much a choice of lots of rover ports or legs. So we now have a much bigger building area. You can see it's quite sizable and it's bigger than a rover port gives us. Um, and because we're relying on the fusion reactor, that kicks out a lot of power. Okay, so the next up from that is, uh, where is it? This one, Power Armor Mark II. This is the last suit uh, in the vanilla game. You have to unlock just a crazy amount of stuff to get this. Um, let's see if I can do it. All right, so explosives, no idea. Okay, let's find the suit again. Okay, um, modules. So you need modules for, um, I can't remember which modules you need. All right, so we'll need those. Okay. We will need this, which requires this. Okay, what else? Let's try again. We want this. Okay, efficiency module two. Right, so this is just, do you see, this is just a crazy way down the tree. Um, but it is the end game suit, Power Armor Mark II, takes a lot of resources to build, processing units, engine, low density structures, tier two speed modules and efficiency modules. This is pretty much the only thing you use efficiency modules for in the standard game. But if, if you look, that was our inventory size in the old suit. This is our inventory size in the new suit. Okay, so we can put one, two, three, either three or four powers. Let's take all this out. Okay, put this down here, fill it up. So we could put some legs in. I'm gonna put our um, five rover ports. We're gonna go four batteries, that. Right, and then we've got some extra slots, so we could 
put in uh, shields or more rubber quartz. Uh, let's put one of these in. Okay. We run even faster now because the two legs give us a walking speed bonus. And our building area is now vast. Okay. And because we've got three or four of these guys in there, we maintain charge quite well until you're doing really big building. Ultra late game, you will end up with uh, several of these suits and you'll get them kitted out with four or five running legs in one of them. You'll get them kitted out with one running leg and as many drone ports as you can fit and then the rest batteries in another. And then in a third one, it'll be packed with personal laser defense and shields for combat. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you want more than that, then you need one of the um, mods that supply uh, tier three, four, five, six suits. Um, they, they put you into almost god mode. All right, so that's it. That is the end of our tutorial on uh, personal bots and a brief tour of equipment. Um, next time, we're going to look at how to use logistics bots for manufacture. Till then, bye-bye.